Hello, it's Blue Orange 22, and I want to talk to you about the ultimate hope, about what I see as the ultimate hope for humankind. And I made a video on this before, and it wasn't all that popular, but I want to say it again because I really do believe it is the future of mankind, and it's the transhumanist movement, or the life extension movement, or the anti-aging movement. And I know there's a lot of reactions to that. People have a lot of gut instincts against it, but I really want you to think about what I'm about to tell you. Really picture this. Imagine it's your 25th birthday, right? So you have the body and the mind of a 25 year old. You're young, you're healthy, you're in your prime. And imagine that you live in a world where we've eliminated pollution and we've eliminated crime and we've eliminated hunger and poverty and homelessness, a perfect world, or at least as close to perfect as humans could get. Wouldn't that be a nice picture? Now, imagine all of that is true, but it's not your 25th birthday, it's your 200th birthday. You're turning 200 years old and you still have the body in the minds of a 25-year-old. This is possible. And this not only is possible, but I believe one day this is going to happen. As crazy as it may seem now, we see this as some science fiction, crazy movie, Hollywood thing, but one day it is going to be the norm. Maybe 20 years from now, maybe 40 years from now, maybe 60 years from now, who knows? But one day that is going to be the norm. And the thing is, if we're alive today, we're still young enough to have a chance. We're in the game. We're alive now. We have a chance to live and see that era. And I sometimes think about the men's rights movement. And if this is your first time on this channel, I'm a men's rights activist and this is a men's rights channel and I mostly do men's rights videos, but when I really think about it, what a small, insignificant thing men's rights really are, or feminism, or Trump, or Biden, or any of it is so small compared to what's going to be one day. Do you think in 500 years they're going to be thinking about Trump, or about men's rights, or feminism? Do you really think that in 500 years, or even 100 years, they're still going to be stuck in the same stupid way of thinking that we are now? They're going to be so far beyond that. They're going to be a million miles past that. They're going to look back at us and think that we were such idiots because instead of working to live longer and fix our world, we spent our time fighting over bullshit. And I don't use profanity very often, and I apologize for using it now, but how else would you describe it? We fight over race, or religion, or gender, or orientation. None of those things are going to save us. We're still getting older, and we're still dying. But one day, humans are going to realize the most important thing is life itself. So why not make it longer? Why not stay young? It's something that we can do, and it's something that we will do. It's inevitable. The question is, is it going to be in time for us? And it could be. It very well could be, if we choose to actually do it. And I'm 30 years old, and I spent the last 10 years almost completely thinking about the men's rights movement. And I don't totally regret it, because I think the men's rights movement is a great thing. And I do believe in my values as an MRA. But when I think about transhumanism, it's just so much more important. And if you like Trump or if you like Biden, it doesn't matter. Because one day, both of those guys are going to be dead. And so are you. Unless we find a way to stop death. Isn't that more important? I mean... 50 years from now, 100 years from now, what the fuck does any of it matter? Whether so-and-so had a laptop or took some documents or this and that, I mean, what really matters? 
Imagine 200 years from now still being alive, still being young, still being healthy. Imagine we've colonized Mars, we've colonized the moon. I mean, isn't that so much more important? Yet we waste our time on such nonsense. And I'm guilty myself. I do that too. I get angry, I go on Twitter, I post stupid shit. But then I remember there's something so much more. Something that really would define humanity in years to come. And I do really believe the transhumanistic humans are going to be the main humans, the humans that live 500, 1,000 years. That's going to be the majority of the human lifespan. And they're going to see us as like the dark ages. So the question is, which do you want to be a part of? To me, I want to live a long time. I want to live long enough to see the mysteries of physics being solved, the Big Bang, space time, all that. I don't want to get old. I don't want to stop living. And I think, deep down, neither do you. So let's do it. Why not?